Hello, this is Brian with CH53 Gamer. Welcome to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And we'll be Daniel Jackson. Alright, here we go. We're, we're holding our level at level 5, trying to see if we can get this, uh, get our, get our, uh, this, this death match. We're gonna do the rest of these, gonna do re rest of these, uh, little dueling rings first. Dueling arena, these dueling partners right here. Here are the rest of the players. We gotta play all of them first, and once we've beaten all of them, we can do a death match. So let's see if we can do all that at level 5. That's the objective for today. <laughs> Talking to Ozzer. Ah, mysterious stranger. I knew you'd be back. They always come back. You fought well last time. People like you, stranger. They they bet lots on your last fight. There'll be more in your next fight. You get 10%, same as always. You want to step into the ring now? Or are you ready to prove yourself against the best duelist on Terrace? I'm ready for a duel. You handled Duncan pretty well. I think you're ready to fight Garalon Two Fingers. Just remember, Garalon uses blasters in the ring sometimes. You ready to step into the arena? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! Alright, here we come. Garalon Two Fingers. Let's fight this guy. He's got blasters, I've got swords. The game is designed for people to use swords. And... Oh, he got, he got, a, he got a hit in, but he's dead. Right, he's not it's actually dead. Over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Gerlon losing to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. All right. And I can't move. Hey, here we go. We can move this time. Yay. Good fight. Good fight. People like you, Mysterious Ranger. They bet a lot when you fight. It makes me happy and rich. I always buy my bets. You won, so you get paid. 10% of the purse. That was a deal. Here's your credits. You come see me when you're ready to fight again. I think he says the exact same thing every time, so I'm not going to read out what he says anymore, probably. All right, let's see what uh, Gerlon has to say. Anything to say about your loss, Garlon? Where are you at? There you are. You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. Okay. So let's see if Deadeye has anything else. I don't think he says anything else other than that. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring and... Yeah, yeah, he didn't... Uh, I'll be going now. Oh, well. Yeah, he didn't say anything new. Let's see. Who's next? Ice is next. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So give me some space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. Oh, good old ice. Okay, here we... Come on, Mission, get out of the... Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, yeah. Whew. It's a good thing I like you so much, game. It's a good thing I like you so much. All right, so here we go. Fight against Ice. She's saying the exact same thing he's already said, so we're just going to ignore it. I'm ready for a duel. I think you're ready to go against Ice, human. She's tough, but so are you. You'll be, there will be lots of action on this fight. A huge purse. You ready? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner. A woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. All right, here we go. Let's attack her. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'm doing some damage. Let's see here. I did some more damage. And they did it. Got her out. She didn't even hit me. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Ice is knocked out cold. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Can I move? Let's see. I cannot, as usual. All right, let's go get my money. <laughs> Oh, he's saying the exact same thing. He's saying the exact same thing. Got my money. All right. Let's talk to Ice. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. Oh, good old Ice. Okay, let's talk to Marl. Marl's cool. Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People are starting to take notice of you. They say you're the best thing to come along since Twitch stepped into the ring. If you're going to keep climbing the ranks, then I guess I'm next on your hit list, kid. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> let's step into the ring, then. You don't waste any time, do you? Go talk to Adger. He'll set the match up. Good old Marl. Marl's cool. All right. Ozier, there we go. All right, Ozier, let's see what you got to say. <laughs> All right, same thing, same thing, same thing. I'm ready for a duel. Ah, uh, you've got real talent for the game, stranger. I think it's time you fought Marl. He's getting up there in years, but he's still very, very good. He used to be the duel champion. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Marl. Good old Marl. But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger. All right, let's fight this guy. Let's see what we got here. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Miss, miss. Yeah. Miss, miss. Two hits. Yeah. Miss, miss. Got another hit. He isn't hitting, yeah. but I'm, a, I'm I'm getting a few hits. Okay. Keep missing. Let's huh. see what we got here. Oh, I got a couple hits in. Oh, he hasn't hit me yet. Yeah. Knock on wood. All right. <laughs> but I am... Okay, that's a, that's a good hit. Oh! Ow! 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 Wow! Wow, he got one hit. One hit in. That's all he got. Let's get two med packs. Whoa! Whoa, that was devastating! Okay. Okay, Marl. Okay, Marl. It's on. Stranger is down. Marl has done it again. 20 years and still going strong for the veteran. And a hard lesson for the up-and-coming rookie. Better luck next time, stranger. I salute you, sir. I salute you. I have to load the game. But I salute you. Alright, so here we go again. Let's do Auger. Same old stuff. I'm ready for a duel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Sorry, Marl, I wiped out your win for real, but hey, I still, I still salute you, sir. Let's see if we can a skip this. Veteran who still knows how to show the I'm hitting kid, enter as quick as I can just to skip through. Here we go. All right. Here comes Marl. All right, the first time we did, we did pretty well. We did pretty well, so let's see if we can just do that again, and we can just try it. All right, okay, miss, miss. You know what? Yeah, okay, I'm going to give one more shot. Uh, let's give myself an adrenal strength. Let's try that. Let's see if that works out. Okay, he did nine damage. Okay. Let's see if I do more damage this time. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Okay, I did 14. He did 17 damage. Marl! Where'd you come up with this stuff? Okay. Get some, get some repair. Okay, there you go. All right. Oh! Oh! All right. Wow! 
The stranger is down. The mysterious stranger is down. Morrow has done it again. Morrow, my respect for you is through the roof. Unfortunately, I have to load the game because I can't move. I'm not going to save it first either. Sorry about that. And here we go. Morrow, you are uh, historically... Marl has been the hardest one to beat, so I'm not I'm not worried yet. Not yet. All right. Miss miss. Okay. Miss miss. Miss miss. Miss miss. Everyone's missing. Okay, I got 15 hits in the first time. Okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. This is like the first match. Oh, good. Got some hits in. Oh, good. You finally got a hit in. Oh. After all that, Marl. After all that. It only took it's me over. three times. Yes, we'll say three. Okay, over. it was really four. The There's one I'm going to cut out completely because I was really bad. But I'm going to cut out completely. But hey. Marl is down and questions about. Is this the end for the long-time bet? Is it time for Marl to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Twitch is waiting in the wings. Do you dare take a shot at the champion himself? Will the Wild Eye Wonder finally be unseated? I have extreme respect for you, Marl. Extreme. Uh, I can't move. I have, to, so I have to do the save load, but I'm going to save it this time. Marl, I salute you, sir. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's go talk to Marl. You're good, stranger. Maybe even as good as Bendak in his prime. There's no shame in losing to you. But when you beat me, you made me realize something, kid. First, it was just Twitch I couldn't handle. Now it's you and Twitch. Pretty soon, there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings. This game's been good to me, but my time is done. I need to get away from the duel rings for a while. Think things over. Goodbye, stranger. I wish you all the best. Good old Marl. All right, let's get my money. I forgot to get the money from Azure. <laughs> All right, he's saying the same thing he always does. There we go. I get some money. I get some money, and I get 400 credits this time. Well, let's go talk to Twitch. There's Twitch. Shoot first. Shoot last. Party with me. We'll have a blast. What the hell are you talking about? Blast away. Open fire. Shoot. Kill. Aim. Uh, okay. Goodbye then. Hey, ready. Aim. Fire. Is your trigger finger as itchy as mine? Uh, okay. Thanks, man. All right, here we go. All right, let's talk to Azur. Ah, uh, okay, yep, yep, yep. You're getting quite the reputation, stranger. Everyone's excited. They all want to bet on your next match. I'm excited too. More bets, me. More credits for me. You want to step into the ring now? Oh, I think I already said that. I'm ready for a duel. You've beaten almost everyone, human. I think you're ready to fight Twitch. Twitch might be crazy, but he's the best of the game. If you can beat him, you'll be the new champion. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. All right, here comes Twitch. Let's see what we're going to do against Twitch. Ow, ow, ow. He took half my health and I haven't even gotten there yet. Ow! Oh my gosh! I didn't even shoot. I didn't even swing at him. Okay. The okay, is Switch. Down. The mysterious stranger is down. Which has done it. Once again, the wild-eyed champion has defended his title. But don't give up, stranger. We all want to see you go after the champ again. Yes, I'm sure you do. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh. Oh, I can move. I can move. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Okay. You know what, Twitch? I can move. But you know what? I'm still going to love the game. I am, however, going to go in with an energy shield this time. There we go. All right, so I got an energy shield. Twitch's going to have to burn through that before he can hurt me. 
Let's see if the D27 system will allow me to shoot at him first. To swing at him. Okay, I did a swing. Good. Okay, he's shooting. Alright, he's so gonna put his guns away. And he's gonna pull his little sword. Okay, I'm doing damage. Okay, he did damage to me. Okay, let's give myself a single med pack and let's hit him back. Ouch. Okay, he's done a couple damage. Hit, hit him. Come on, D20. Oh, come on. Alright, did some more. Okay, he went through my... You can see the, the attacks go through the shield. Because the shield is just, just blocks energy, not physical. Alright, here we go. Right, let's get this... Okay, he got a 10. And a delayed 10. Right, you know what? I'm getting tired of this. I cannot afford the uh, penalty to hit that it involves by using a two-handed weapon when I don't have all three two-handed things. Oh, here we go. Right, he hit me again. No big deal. Right, get, get some repair in. I got a tw delay 12. Oh, miss. Come on. I think it's because he's high level. Alright. I got him. Okay, I got him. Oh, he got me. Okay, he got me. Alright, let's give an advanced med pack. That's no, not an antidote. Not an antidote. Where's the advanced? There it is. Advanced med pack. There we go. That'll just give me some... Give me some, uh... Some... Alright, there we go. 23. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Hit him again. Get a hit in him. Don't miss. Don't miss! Come on! Okay, got the 10. Got the 10. Alright. Another advanced med pack. Uh, don't worry, I, I, once I get a little further in the game, I don't have to worry about med packs anymore. So for now, I can burn through them on this part and hopefully save enough to use... Oh, I got him! With one final hit. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Twitch's reign of terror is over, ladies and gentlemen! We have a new champion! The Mysterious Stranger! Alright, that was a good one. Journal entry added. That's that's me letting them know that I've, I'm winning all the dueling. Okay, let's see. Achani Ritual Brand. Put that back on. Yeah, the dueling ring. There we go. It's my, mine by right. How about that? Okay. Let's go. And I need to... Now let's get my money real quick. Congratulations, Mysterious Stranger. You're the new dual champion. Twitch had a good run, but you took him down. Here's the purse for beating Twitch. The bad news is that I don't have anyone left who wants to fight you. You're too good for your own good. Nobody wants to go in the, duel in the ring with you. The only one left who will fight you is Bindak Starkiller, but he's retired. Too bad. People would pay a fortune to see you fight Bindak. Fight Bindak. Alright, journal entry added. That's a little thing. Hey, maybe we should go fight Bindak. Twitch? You fast. You quit. You can beat Twitch. And that's all he has to say. Okay, so let's save the game. All right, let's go arrange a fight with Bendak Starkiller. Um, oh, there's one other thing I didn't do last time. There's a woman over here, and if you piss her off, Gana Lavin. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Sorry, I'm not your waiter. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy, and I could get you fired. Go ahead, go get your daddy. I don't even work here. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. The best part is, uh, she's going to send two thugs at you, and that's just free loot. Free loot to sell. That's why I did that. Yes, I'm light side. I'm light side. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of, of uh, provoking two people to attack me just so I can kill them and steal their money and sell their swords they attack me with. Not at all. All right, Ben Dak, let's have a word. I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? You're on, Bendak. Name the time and place. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. All right, here we go, Ben Dak Star Killer. Yes, this is not, not this is this is not unwise at all. Okay, let's see, what we got here. There's Azure. Let's set this up. And very slowly, the game will put in the. Oh, yeah, I've heard the news, Mysterious Stranger. You and Ben Dak have won a death match. This is excellent news. People will bet, people will bet a fortune on this fight. But why are you here now? A death match takes time to get ready. I have to bribe officials so they don't break it up. You might as well leave the cantina for now and come back later. All right, so there we go. All I gotta basically do is leave the cantina, turn right back around, and come back in. And mysteriously enough, 
time has passed that I can participate in this match. All right, so out. After a quick transit to and from the hideout to make sure my health was back, right back in we go. And let's go talk to Azure. Level five, here we go, okay. All right, there's Azure. All right, let's get a shield going. Let's do this. I've heard the news, okay. Not too many people want to fight a deathmatch anymore. Some are scared, others think it's wrong to kill someone else for bits. I guess that's why they're illegal now. Uh, let's get on with this match. This fight is different than most. Of course, we'll turn off the energy suppressors so weapons won't be limited. They can kill. Anything goes, so you, so you ready to fight this this match now? I'm ready. Good, excellent. High wagering means lots of credits for the winner on this match. Come see me after the fight to collect your credits, if you're still alive. Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by. To a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years. But we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match. In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive, <laughs> out of retirement for one last battle, Bendik Starkiller! And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, Feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And oh. now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! Alright, here we go. I got my first ever dark side points just for participating in the match. Alright, there's that. Okay, we're going to first off, like I said, we're going to hit him with a plasma grenade. All right, and he's hitting me one of those as well, so we're going to disengage, we're going to aim that way, and we're going to run. All right, he fired at me, I fired at him, he missed, I didn't. All right, there we go. Guess what? Time to hit him with another plasma grenade. All right, there we go, and let's hit him with another plasma grenade. He's also... Oh, oh, he almost got me. Okay, let's see. Let's get out of here. All right, can I get out of here? Can I get out of here? Okay, for some reason, he didn't cause me damage. All right, that's no big deal. All right, we're going to move. We're going to move. All right, there we go. He threw a grenade over there. Let's go throw a grenade that way. He's shooting at me. I'm going to fire another grenade at him. He's shooting at me. I'm going to fire my last plasma grenade at him. And I'm going to fire a fire grenade at him. <laughs> so I kind of cheese that. I just beat him with the grenades. Beat him with the grenades. Bendak is down. It's over. It's over. The fight is over. Bendak Star Killer is down. Bendex Star Killer is dead. All hail the mysterious stranger, the greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Terrace. Journal entry added. Okay, let's go talk to Azure. Bindak Starkiller's dead. I don't believe it. Bindak never loses. That was an amazing duel. Best duel I've ever seen. Glad you enjoy it. Now where's my share of the cut of the purse? Well, you've done well, stranger. I'm pleased. Very pleased. Here are your credits. Plus, I'll give you Bindak's blaster pistol as a bonus as a sign of my appreciation. Thank you, Azure. That was very generous of you. Everyone will be talking about you now, stranger. They're all going to know you're the one who beat the Bindak Star Killer. You're famous now. And there we go. All right. So if we look at the quests, the dueling arena is is done. I just have to turn in Bindak's bounty. So very cool. All right. Let's save this game. All right. So now we're gonna get out of here. Um. And we gotta make our way back down to the lower city, uh, where we just gotta do the swoop match. On the way, we are gonna take care of these two guys right here, because I did get them after me just to take them out.
Here she is, <laughs> her two Levine thugs. Didn't you just hear I killed someone just a second ago? <laughs> and I got a Wookie. Daddy! And I got a Wookie. And I got a Wookie. The Wookie needs a uh, he needs his sword back. Oops, my bad. Sorry about uh, Zalbar. All right, let's take these guys. There we go, a vibro blade. Let's take these guys. There we go, a vibro blade. You know, I've been carrying a lot of stuff around. I can't move. All right. I'm carrying a lot of stuff around, so let's go talk to this shopkeeper and sell her everything. Not everything, but a lot of stuff. Hey, look who's back! The mysterious stranger. You know, I had a front row seat when you gunned down Bendix Starkiller. Best duel I've ever seen! Okay, so for the record, I sold those gas mines for 40 credits each, so well over one. And But I did pick up a new, a new uh, gun, so I need to return to the hideout. And let's go to the workbench. And Karth's Blaster, we're going to take all these off. Bendax Blaster, we're going to put all these on. Uh, Karth's Blaster, we'll put that back on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, Missions Vibroblade, have I updated? Oh, I've already updated that, okay. And I didn't have any armor, so there we go. And let's, before I forget to do that, let's put this... Uh, oh, no, no, I'm going to wait till I get back here. Because sometimes... When you change weapons inside here, they re-equip their old weapons, and then you lose whatever you put on there. So let's put that right there. Okay, here is Mission with Karth's Blaster. Now she has Bendax Blaster. Perfect. All right, let's make sure it stayed the same. Good, it did. All right. And transit back. I guess it didn't matter if I transited back or not, because now I'm just going to walk to the uh, lower city and cut out the whole little journey. All right, here we are in the lower lower city. If we had come out, if we had gone directly from the the uh, Black Volcar base, it is right that door right there. The Twilight Corpse is in the way, in the way, but that's where it was. So we're gonna head this way. We're on our way to the Hidden Beck base, but we're gonna stop at Javyar's Cantina on the way and get our uh, bounty for killing Ben Dex Star Killer. Yes, why not? It's on the way. Okay, in we go. Let's go talk to uh, Zex again. Yes, Zex. And the only thing I'm not going to do is this, because it's still stupid. Zax, not Zex. Alright. Uh, I don't want to do that again. I got a bounty I want to collect on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him about Bindak. So you killed Bindak in a deathmatch duel. Ironic, isn't it? Bindak has a bounty on him for killing people in a duel, and you collect it by killing him in a deathmatch. Here, 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. And there we go. I'll be going now. And there we go. Alright. So that is that. So the last thing we have is the main quest. Karth doing his thing and Dia's bounty. We'll take care of Dia's bounty after we get Bastila because I find it comical. Alright. And awesome at the same time. Okay, here we go. Can ignore these guys. We're never going to play Pazok in this game because it's weighted against the human player. So why do that? Alright, Hidden Deck Lookout. Here we go. Into the Hidden Deck base we go. This is all good. It's fine. And there is Zaydra. There is Gadon Thek. Let's save the game. All right, Gadon Thek. You have returned. Do you have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I have the accelerator right here. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Okay, I lived up to my end of the deal. You, now you better come through. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gadden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. Don't worry, Gadden. I'll win this, that race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is unstable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Sounds like you've got all your bases covered. 
You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. Okay, I'm ready for the race. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. You spend a restless night at the Beck base. In the morning, one of the Becks takes you to the swoop racing pits, where only racers and mechanics are allowed to go. So you're the one who's going to ride the swoop, my dad. Don't worry, I've been working on the accelerator and stability won't be a problem. I hope. You gotta mention that you've never done this before. You want me to run over the basics of handling a swoop bike for you? Uh, forget it. Let's just get to the racing. Hold on, I better explain the rules to you. Each rider goes out on the track alone. At the end of the day, whoever posts the fastest time is the winner. Normally, a rider covers as many heats as they want, but I don't know how long the prototype accelerator on your suit will hold up. No more than four or five races, I guess. So make your runs count. Gannon's put the trust in you. We need to win this race, or, or Bridget's Volkers will get a wild bunch of new recruits. A whole bunch of new recruits. If that happens, we're finished. I won't let you down. It sounds like you're ready. Go talk to the race announcer over by the counter. He'll give you the time to beat and get you out of the course. I'll be waiting for you here after the run so I can make any tweaks or repairs to your swoop in case you want to go out for another heat. Good luck and don't worry about the prototype overheating and exploding while you're out on the track. That probably won't happen. Alright, so here's the thing. You can actually render this game unwinnable by doing a really, really good job. Because no matter what you do, a Volcar is going to beat your time, and then you got to go out there and beat his. All right, here we go. Bastila wearing her dark side underwear. And a black Volcar guard. Okay. And here is the announcer. Let's save this game. And just in case you're wondering if I said dark side underwear, depending on what Jedi robe she's wearing, and you take them off, she's wearing different underwear. In this case, she's wearing the same stuff she'd be wearing if she had a dark Jedi robe on, and then you took it off. All right, race announcer. You're, you're here to race, right? Okay, let's see who your sponsor is. Ah, you're riding for the hidden decks, I see. Always like them. I hope they can show these whole cars a thing or two, but I guess. Once you're registered... Okay, you're registered now. Good luck. Try not to get yourself killed. We've only lost one rider today. We want to keep it that way. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. Uh, what's the time to beat? Well, Retro says the best time so far. 38.43. Good. That's not the best I've ever seen. I don't know if it will stand up. I want to race one of my heats. Okay, let's get you out on the track. One, two, three. Hey, like I said, you don't want to do all that well on this first race. I have to do well enough to beat 38, but not so well that I can't beat that second time. So I'm kind of cheesing it a little bit. I will admit, I am cheesing it. I'm deliberately missing these pads. You hit these pads and it'll accelerate you. You hit those obstacles and it will decelerate you. And we just gotta get to the end before 38 goes out. Okay. Oh, I hit, a, I hit a thing. Okay, now I'm concerned I might not make 38, so let's hit the rest of these pads on the way. Alright. Oh, no. Woo! Barely made 38. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is fine. It's fine. You did it! You got the top time! You just beat racers who've been doing this for 20 years! That is amazing! Someone who's never ridden a swoop before today comes in here and... Wait a minute, I don't believe this! Look at the board! One of the full cars just beat your time! Well, I was Redros! I should have known! That's okay, the day ain't over, and the accelerator's still holding together. You have to get out there and show them how it's done. Alright, here we go, let's do this one more time. Alright, we need to save this. Let's talk to the announcer. Ever so slowly shrinks in. Alright, there we go. Back again, I see. Are you ready to hit the race the track? Not literally, of course. Okay, we've already lost one rider that way today. What's the time to beat? Well, Redros had the time to beat so far. 37, 37, 69. Good. About the best I've ever seen. I don't know if it will stand up. I want to race one of my heats. Okay, let's get you out on the track. Alright, let's see how well, well I do. Two. Three, go. All right, hit the A. All right, I'm going to set up for this pad. Hit the pad and the A at the same time. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. I missed one pad. That's no big deal. I can miss a pad or two. Actually, I can miss all the, I can miss all the rest of the pads. I'm in a very good position to win this match. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hit, hit all these pads. Yeah, there we go. Bam, 24-19. 
and those are the only two mandatory swoop races in the game. You did it! You did it! In 20 years, I've never seen anybody handle a swoop like that before. Nobody's going to beat that time. Nobody! I guess Ganon knew what he was doing when he picked you to ride for us. Now the only thing is to wait for the time to become official and go collect your prize. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winner of this year's Swoop Race. Put your hands together and show your appreciation for one of the most daring riders the Swoop Track has ever seen. Through your skill and courage, you have proven yourself the premier Swoop Rider on Terrace and brought great glory to the Hidden Bet Gang. Now here to present the champion's prize, Bredgic, leader of the Black Hole Cars. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Becks with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated. You're a damn liar, Bredgic! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. I, have hard, I find it hard to believe that was against the rules. You can't do this, Bredrick. You know the rules. Nobody's allowed to withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all our sacred traditions. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Bredrick. <laughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Okay, now here's the thing. Uh, you can't beat Brezik. It's best to not even try, because he will destroy you. So I'm going to activate my energy shield. Journal entry added. And I'm going to start moving. I'm going to try to move. Okay, I'm going to disengage. Stay disengaged. And uh, stay. Look, keep, keep an eye on Bredgic. And re recharge my energy shield if I have to. Okay, I'm going to recharge my energy shield. And at some point in time, he might start chasing me. And if he does, I'm going to run around this desk and let Bastila do her thing. All right. Okay, she's attacking him. Okay, let's hit another energy shield. Okay, I don't, I don't have any more energy shields. Okay, where is it? Four or five? Five or five. We're going to do four or five. Yes. Okay, we're going to close. Okay, we're going to do an energy shield. Where is it? There it is. And after that, we're going to do an advanced med pack, because I don't want to die. As a matter of fact, I want to, don't want to die so much, I should save the game. Oh, by the way, he tried to keep a Jedi prisoner. Dumbass. All right, now let's see if he breaks off and tries to attack me. Yep, he is. He's breaking off and attacking me. And he killed me. That's what I was afraid of. Did shield? Oh, she killed him. Good. Why couldn't you have done that before? Alright, remains. Repair kit. Over here, these are the important remains to get. Because there it is. Double-bladed lightsaber. Frederick's belt, armband, and gloves. Let's take those. And I do have it. I confirm I have the lightsaber. There it is. Double-bladed lightsaber. You know, you would have think that would have been a clue to Bredrick, that he had a Jedi prisoner. But, you know, I never never said bad guys were smart when talking to Bastila. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? My name's Daniel Jackson. I'm here to save you! Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. That Bridget would be entirely and his accurate. would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Oh, uh, yeah, that's funny. I think you've got these confused. You were a helpless prisoner until I came along, and there was at no point an alternate universe where Bredgic killed me. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me, after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the End of Spire? Karth and I are already working on a way to get off Terrace. Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. 
Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Alright, time for another little dream. You cannot win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Uh, we were trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Both of you settle down. This isn't helping. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Don't worry, I won't let that happen. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Something weird happened when we first met, like a vision. A vision? A vision of what? Of you fighting a dark Jedi. Revan, I guess. This is... that's strange. Such visions are often a sign of Force sensitivity. Are you saying I can use the Force? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. So does this mean I could be a... let's see, let's go with... This isn't the first time I had a vision. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. All right, here we go. Journal entry added. Let's see where we're at. Ah, Bastila. I have experienced a vision, so there's a little a little uh, quest with her, just like Karth. And now the, the, the main mission is escaping Terrace. But... This is good enough for today. So, thank you very much for joining me. And if you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, any comments, of course, are always appreciated. And the next time we play, we will work on getting off Terrace. And we'll see how far we get in that. So, thank you very much. And goodbye.